Hey guys, I'm just going to do a video for you um, on a tool that I've come across which is absolutely brilliant for handling updates to multiple WordPress sites. Um, you know, you, you, you always have the scenario where WordPress releases a new version, so you have to log into all your different sites independently, log into the back end, update WordPress, and in order to do that properly, you should do your backup as well. So you're running a backup, then you're doing your WordPress install. And then in the next day or two, you've got all your plugin installs. So over the course of a couple of days, you're going across all your websites, you're doing all these installs. It's just very time consuming. Wouldn't it be great if you could do all of that in one place? Well, there's a tool that's um, been out a while now. But I've only just come across it the last couple of days. And it's called Infinite WP. And you basically install it onto your server, and then you log in, and you can add all your website, all your WordPress websites there, and you can do one-click updates. That's backup, WordPress installs, and plugins. It's uh, it, it honestly it really is really brilliant. Brilliant. So if you could just go to infinitewp.com, hit the big download button. You can tweet about it before I've done that. So skip to download. You get, your, you get your small download, it's not that big. Download that. Once that is done, you want to go onto your server and you want to upload that into a file on, into a directory on there. So what we'll do is, we'll unzip this, create a new folder, we'll call it, oh, WIP, we call it, um, IWP Infinite WordPress and what we're going to do is we're just going to extract all the files and upload them into, onto the server it won't take long, there's only 160 odd files and so basically once obviously that's all done you just navigate to that through your browser and um, and then set it all up so let's go ahead and do that, All right, so my infinite WP. I want to go and see what that is. UK. If I can spell my own name, for such IWP, has that finished? Nearly has. Now you do have to set up a WordPress database, um, which you can do through your hosting. Doesn't take long to do. Um, this is the install process. Just click next, and next. Make sure all this is ticked. This is PHP versions and, and permissions on your server and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly pause the video while I fill all this in, and then I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we're back. Right. So once you've entered all your database details, press next. You need to then add in uh, your email address and uh, then your password, and then you're done. Right, so I won't save that. Um, you need to delete the install folder on the server. So I'll just uh, just quickly rename that for now. Yeah, we'll pretend that's we'll pretend that's installed. Uh, we'll pretend that's deleted, sorry. Right, so once that's all done, you just want to go to your URL, IWP. You got your login screen, so that is maximum. And then my super secure password. And then you're in. Um, if you want, you can take the tour. It will show you all the cool features. I did take the tour, and I found some things that I didn't even know it could do, such as you can post blog posts from within Infinite WordPress, which is absolutely fantastic. It means you just one login, you can go in and do whatever you want. It just produces your frame, your uh, website dashboard for WordPress in an iframe. Still on the same URL, nothing changes. Right, okay, so get rid of the tool. So this is your main dashboard. Everything you need is here. You have your process queue so you can see what you've done. That includes backing up what you're doing at the moment, anything you've got timed to do, um, and anything you've done previously, which you can also see from the activity log. Okay, so obviously the first thing you want to do is add a site. So I know that on Schooler, there has, since the recent WordPress update, 2341, um, one of the plugins needs a lot of updates and needs 11 doing. Now, obviously, this is, if this could be a plugin you use on multiple sites, 
means you've got to go in and lot and and on all your different sites and do all your updates with the IWP. One click and it's all done. So you click on Add Website down in the bottom corner. Put in the URL, the username, and then you want to go to the website that you want to add to IWP. You need to add a plugin. And the easiest way to search this plugin is just to search for IWP. And it's the IWP client. So you install that. And when you activate it, you get a, a box that appears at the top with an activation key. You want to copy that and you want to paste that into the add WordPress site box on IWP. So once that's added, that will appear in the listing and you'll see it's got 11 plugins that need updating. You think, ah, oh, that's excellent. You know, one click and it'll be done. You can click on it and you can see all the plugins that uh, that need doing. You can update them individually if you are aware that maybe you know there's an update to a plugin that doesn't quite work just yet. It's had some bad reviews or whatever. Don't need to update it. Um, but to save going and checking out all these plugins individually, the best thing you can do is run a backup. If you just click on the backup tab, create a new backup. You can do all websites or just one. Obviously, we're just going to do one because we've only got one. Put your backup name in, so we'll do test backup for screencast. And I want to back up the files and the database. And it's going to back that up into a zip folder. Click it back up now. In the process queue, it's going to show you that it's doing the backup. And that is really not going to take long at all. Maybe a minute or so. And basically, right, so that's done. That backup is completed completely done as ready to go. So if you reload data here, you'll be able to see that that backup is now showing a backup for Schooler done then. It shows you the size of the backup and you can restore it from within IWP, which is the best thing you can do. If you've done an update and it doesn't the update WordPress uh, WordPress update doesn't quite work, you can just restore it within here. Um, if you want to download that backup you can either download it through here or if you want to download it through FTP um, you want to go to your content folder infinite WP backups and then it should be ah oh, cost is not there you need to log on to the website's individual hosting um, so that's in there so you want to log on to there. WP content. If not WordPress backup. And there it is there. There's a 74 meg file. Which is that file there. So, aside from the backup, when you're ready when you've done all your backups, do your one click and you want to update WordPress. Update all. Done. That's gonna update in a couple of seconds and your plugins will be ready to go. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can add as many sites as you want in here. You can also create groups. So I could create a group. Um, you know, sometimes you, you host websites with friends, so I could call a group Cheapskates. I don't know if I could call a group Paid Hosting. And then I can just add add to the group. And then you can um, you can just apply updates to a certain group. Um, you know, if if obviously people pay you for hosting, it's more important that you get their updates up soon, and you're running your regular backups for them. And that's a way that you can manage it just by doing the groups. Obviously, I said you can post stuff through IWP as well. Easiest way to do that is click on your button down here. You just hover over the site you want to administer. Click Write New Post. This is now going to load the schooler back end on this domain where I can go ahead and create a new post. And that's it. That's Infinite WordPress. Doesn't get any more tricky than that. Once that's all installed, it really is just a one click, one click job. Nothing else you need to do. You can have as many sites on there as you like, and I would recommend this and I would rate this. 
um, every new website with WordPress that I'm going to build, I'm going to add this onto it because it's going to make my life so much easier. And and that's it. If you've got any questions, of course, just uh, send me an email. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. And I'll uh, post another one soon. Cheers.